Uh, you know, when we turn our clocks ahead this weekend, it could be the last time Kansans have to participate in daylight saving time. That's right. There's a bill in the Senate right now that would exempt the Sunflower State from springing forward an hour each March and falling back an hour every November. New at 10, Madeline Anderson looks at the pros and the cons. Madeline. Yeah, Chris and Susan, Kansas joins 13 other states considering legislation that would either permanently end daylight saving time or leave their state on daylight saving time year round. Blue skies, blossoming trees, and busy parks. Sure sign spring has arrived in Wichita. I uh, power walk in the mornings and rollerblade in the afternoons. We try to spend as much time outside as possible when it is beautiful like this. Especially in March, you're not supposed to be like that. The changing seasons also means we lose an hour of sleep March 13th to help maximize the number of usable hours of daylight. This year, though, may be the end of that spring tradition. Senate Bill 282 would exempt Kansas from observing daylight saving beginning in November when we turn the clocks back to standard time. Republican Senator Ty Masterson is in favor of the proposed legislation, testifying today, quote, some studies and articles indicate the negative effects of daylight saving time due to interruption of sleep cycles and increased grogginess on the job. Parents like Rachel Patterson are against the change. When my husband works until 5, it makes it difficult without daylight savings time for us to spend time outside together as a family. So, yes, I enjoy having it. <laughs> While lifelong Kansas resident Michael Beckerman grew up without daylight saving and prefers it that way. It's just an, another step that you have to plan into your life. It takes time and management. And I just wish it'd go back like it was when I was a kid. Brenda Ray and her family are split. Well, that's good and bad. The mom of three says daylight saving helps save energy, but cuts down on playtime when the kids are back in school. It's when it's fall time, your day goes fast. So you don't have enough time, you know, when you get out of work and then take your family out. It's already nighttime. And Senator Masterson says only 30 percent of Americans still support the use of daylight saving, and that studies show there's little evidence it actually cuts down on energy costs.